In this video, I will show you how you can go ahead and buy a gift card on Steam. So I'll come here, just click on the store, right? We'll go to the home page, and all you need to do is come here, the left hand panel, you'll see Steam gift card, right? Or you can even search it up if you don't see that. Maybe they change the layout sometime, right? You can just search gift card, and there you go. We see Steam gift card. So I can click on this, right? And you have two options you can either buy it for yourself, add to your wallet, or send a digital steam gift card okay i'll go ahead and click on this one but you can also go ahead and click this it doesn't really matter okay i'll click on this you can buy it for yourself or you can go ahead and use the code for yourself as well right so you just select the gift card amount right so come here click on this maybe this one is five dollars right and you can go ahead and choose your friend but remember that you cannot gift anyone a gift card until you've been friends with them for at least three days okay before you send them a game send them a gift card so you can go ahead and do the option to buy it for yourself we'll go ahead and do that one right so i shown you two ways now here you just come here click on add funds the minimum is five dollars so i'll come and click on this right here now here you select your payment method right you enter your card details they have a lot of payment methods they even have paypal right you can use that there are a bunch of different cards visa american express mastercard discover jcb so you can choose whatever option that applies to you right and if you're choosing card you'll have to enter the card number expiration date security code which is the dcvv code you'll find at the back of your card first name last name make sure all this right your billing information actually matches your details on your card okay otherwise you could have problems getting the transaction to go through then if you want you can toggle this one on or off right to save your payment information so it's easier for you to check out next time and then you just go ahead and click on continue and it would authorize your transaction really that easy and simple